we have this problem 12 to the x equals 8x. I'm going to try to solve this by Lambert W function. We want to utilize this little formula we have here on the right, Lambert W of x e to the x equals x. So we don't necessarily like that we have base 12. We'd like this to be a base e. So I think to start with, let's just rewrite that as a base e. So we can write this as e ln 12. And then we can just have our x here like this. And this is going to be equivalent to what we have up here in our problem. And this is going to be equal to 8 x. So if we divide both sides by e to the ln 12 x, on the left side we're going to have just 1, on the right side we're going to have 8 x e minus ln 12. And now you can see we're getting closer to this format we want, but what we need is we need our coefficient and we need our exponent to be the same in order to match this form we have over here. It's actually not too bad though, as you'll see if we multiply our right side by ln 12 over 8. We're going to get some cancellation and we'll just do the same on the left side, ln 12 over 8. And we're going to have our 8s are going to cancel here. Then let's just rewrite this so it's clear. We're going to have minus ln 12 over 8 equals uh, this. We're going to bring this minus ln 12 over here. So we're going to have minus ln 12 x e to the minus ln 12 x. And now we have this matching coefficient exponent situation that we want. So we can use our Lambert W function. If you wanted, you could do like a U substitution called this red stuff U and this red stuff U. And then you would just output minus ln 12x. So let's see how that's going to work when we take Lambert W function on both sides. So now that our coefficient input is the same, when we take the Lambert W function on the right side, we're just going to have it's going to return just this value, so it's going to be minus ln 12x. And then on our left side, we're just going to leave this because we don't have a good way to reduce this right now. Then we can divide a minus ln 12 on both sides. And this will cancel out, and we're just left with, we have our, we've isolated our x. And so this is actually going to be our answer right here. So I use Wolfram Alpha to calculate this thing, and what we get is approximately 0 0.2113425. And the question now is, how do we know that this is the only real solution, or is there other real solutions we need to look at? What we can do is we can just look at this, what we have inside here, and let's look at this value. So this I could just do with the calculator, and I found that minus ln 12 over 8 is about 0 0.3106. And then what we can do to determine if we have other real solutions is we can look at a graph and see what we can find out first. So we have this graph of the Lambert W function over here on the right. Now in black, we have the principal branch, which is on Wolfram Alpha is like, uh, it's written as W0 like this. And so we notice that the, the domain of this starts at minus, this is a one over E. So it starts at minus one over E, which is about 0 0.368. So if we were to, if we were over here to the negative side, we'd have, this is all imaginary or complex values over here. If we're in the positive over here, we would have just one real solution for our input. So you'll notice though that our input for just focusing on the Lambert W, this is negative. So it's not gonna be this one solution case. It's not gonna be this zero solution case, it's going to be in here somewhere. Sorry, that's a poor line. <laughs> so anyway, what we'll have is we'll have our first on the um, principal branch, we'll have our first answer right here that we found, this 0 0.21 number. But we're going to have this second answer on the negative one branch. And that's going to be about right here. Okay, so we get like two intersection points. And so on Wolfram Alpha, I looked that one up, and so our second solution is going to be approximately 0 0.683968. So this is our this is from our negative one branch, and this is from our zero branch. Two real solutions to the problem. And I got this problem from my quiz Lambert W Challenge. I'll provide a link in the description. It has a lot of, a real variety of problems on there. So if you want to practice these problems, please check that out.